Have you ever wondered how secret societies like the Illuminati, the Freemasons, the Brotherhood or the Skulls and Bones actually works? If you go onto YouTube and you search for Kevin Trudeau, uh, Kevin T Trudeau is a billionaire from the United States and he has a very interesting audio series on YouTube called Your Wish is Your Command. It's a talk that he delivered out in the Alps in I think 2013 to an exclusive group of people. But in this talk, he reveals some of the inner workings of these secret societies. Kevin became a member of the Brotherhood when he was 15 years old. And by the time he was 18, he was already a millionaire. And now today in his 40s, I believe, he is a multi-billionaire. Now, what's very interesting about these secret societies is that when you get invited to join them, you become an apprentice, an apprentice of one or two people that mentor you in the secrets of success. They get you to read a lot of material. Apparently, these people do a lot of <clears throat> a reading, but they also get you to develop certain skills in your life. And the way that it works is that you progress in these secret societies. I think every secret society has its own language for it, but I think the Freemasons is known as degrees. So if you are a 33 degree Freemason, you have progressed all the way right to the top. But this is how it works. If I join, I become an apprentice of someone and I have to prove that I have mastered that level of training. And the way that you prove it is through your life. They observe your life and they see if you have mastered the skills of that level. And then once you're a master, then you can progress to the next level. If you think about uh, some of the martial arts, karate and so on, that's exactly how they work as well. You know, you get different color belts because you have to be a master at one level before you can progress to another level. But I think for us, there is a very good principle to learn from this idea. The idea that you first become a master before you go on to the next level. And what I really found interesting from Kevin's perspective is that there's actually not a lot that you learn in these secret societies. It's very few things that you learn, but these things takes years to master because a lot of it has to do with your mindset and the way that you apply those skills to your own life. Quite often when we start with anything that's new in life, we just want to get through the training. You know, I've got this course that I need to do. There is five modules and my goal is I just need to get through the five modules. And then when I'm done with the five modules, then I'm like, okay, what's next? But the way that they work is you would do module one and you will keep on working on module one until you've become an absolute master and you can demonstrate that you can actually apply what you've learned in that module before you can move on to the next module. So it's not just about knowing, but it's about doing. Philosophy one on 101. Um, to know and not to do is not to know. And that is a foundational principle in these secret societies. So that's got me thinking, what am I a master of? One of the things that Kevin's talk, Kevin talks about is the fact that when you think about the most uh, successful people in the world, they became successful with one thing that they became the absolute master of. Warren Buffett became a master with investment. Michael Jordan became a master with shooting hoops in basketball. Tony Robbins became a master at speaking from the platform. 
he tells the story of Tony Robbins when he was still a salesperson. Their company, they had to do one speech every day. But Tony Robbins did three speeches and he demanded from the other people in his sales force to give him feedback, not just you did very well, but this is what you can improve on. And he became an absolute master communicator. So the question we need to ask ourselves is, what are we becoming masters of? And do we allow ourselves to first become a master at a fundamental level, a basic level, an essential level, before we move on to the next level? And the thing is, it can take any amount of time for you to master one level. But the goal is not to complete that level. The goal is to become a master at that level. And I really like that approach. So think about anything that you are doing, any new business that you are in. And my recommendation is progress through your training, your learning, by becoming a master at the basics, then the intermediate, and then at the advanced level. Hope that's helpful. I'll speak to you in another video.